365 days, 365 messages God has in store for us. You've got mail from God, written by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come and join us. Let us see what God has in store for us today. Today is December 22nd, 2022. And the title of our devotional is At Least One Hour. The scripture reading can be found in Matthew chapter 26, verse 40. And it says, Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping, and said to Peter, What, you could not have watched with me one hour? Allow me to begin today's devotional by presenting a great truth about the Christian life. We don't all have to be great Bible preachers. We don't all have to be great public leaders. We don't all have to accomplish the same ministry. But we have all been asked to pray. Prayer is our obligation. It is our privilege. Sadly, many believers consider praying is optional. Ellen G. White says, We should now acquaint ourselves with God by proving His promises. Angels record every prayer that is earnest and sincere. We should rather dispense with selfish gratifications than neglect communion with God. The deepest poverty, the greatest self-denial, with His approval, is better than riches, honors, ease, and friendship without it. We must take time to pray. It was a cold, dark night. Jesus and his disciples were headed to the Garden of Gethsemane. They noticed that he was withdrawn, lost in thought, immersed in a train silent, with a heavy laden heart, stumbling as he walked, crying out as if weighted down by a heavy burden. They saw him in all his human frailty and weaknesses. They heard him say, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. How heart-rending, what a hard blow. They slept when he most needed them to be awake. That's why addressing Peter, Jesus said, Could you not have watched with me one hour? We can see the difficult situation of humanity these days reflected in this tragic scene. While Jesus, our highest priest, is interceding for us in prayer, his disciples are sleeping. His church is sleeping. The world is sleeping when we should be praying. If Jesus felt the need to pray when faced with the great challenge that awaited him, how much more do we, simple mortals, need to pray? Today, God's message for you comes from the writing of Ellen G. White. It will be well for us to spend a thoughtful hour each day in contemplation of the life of Christ. We should take it point by point and let the imagination grasp each scene, especially the closing ones. As we thus dwell upon His great sacrifice for us, our confidence in Him will be more constant, our love will be quickened, and we shall be more deeply imbued with His Spirit. Amen.